important to stock up on as much as you can. And um, it was very important that I got all those super guards down for Vivian, uh, because I prefer to save my live streams for uh, basically a final boss. Right, it's pretty smart of you. Yeah, and remember when I said you were going to be sick of these Bill Blasters? Here's why. There's a grand yeah, whopping there's total... A there's a grand whopping total of three of them in this room. Yep, so it's time to go through all three of them. Too. Oh, maybe there aren't three. Maybe there aren't three of them in this room. Maybe it's just the two. Okay, I remember this being worse yeah, than what it was. Two. Yeah. All right. Never mind. Sorry, guys. I lied. I thought there was <laughs> one. I thought there was one on each staircase level. Yeah. No. It turns out to be those embers. Yeah. I don't remember this as much as well as I thought I did. I mean, it's still pretty annoying if you have to, for whatever reason, backtrack through here. You have to fight these guys all over again, which sucks. Oh yeah, that's true. And what's really annoying about the Bill Blasters is there isn't really a good way to get in between them and do the super hammer. Or the ultra um, hammer. Yeah, but I'm sure it's possible, but you have to be in a very specific point. Yeah, it's there is actually it is actually possible to bypass these Bill Blasters uh, without actually running and going initiating a battle with them. And that's by like going into paper mode at a very specific spot in between the um, Bill Blasters, but it's uh, really precise. But this chapter does a really good job teaching you everybody's abilities and testing what you've learned. Or not teaching everybody's abilities, but yeah, testing what you learned. I'm stupid. I think no, the Pit of Hunter Trials does a good job at, at, at testing like your ability to fight, though. Yeah. Guys, a coin. This is PFP da PFD down for your partner. And a jam and jelly. Is there anything else? Uh. Oh, God. That's a lot of enemies. Okay. Alright, we're done. I know that you, like, just seeing an open room like this also makes me feel the need to point out there are no star pieces in this chapter either. Everything ends at chapter 7. Oh, okay, that's nice to know. So if you want to okay, take... Okay, we have this type of room. This is back from the first game. Okay, I'm going the wrong way. Yep, this makes a return from the first game, and it is in the original trilogy. I have not played Sticker Star myself, but uh, assuming the less than flattering opinions of that game, I'm going to assume that they did not carry over that tradition among a few other things that this series is known for. Yeah, I'm not sure if they brought back in Color Splash either, because I haven't played that far at all. Color Splash is more of a spiritual successor to, or well, not spiritual, it is the successor to Sticker Star, but I hear it did better for what it was trying to do. Yeah. But so I, You guys have no idea how, to, how I know what door to go to? Well, unfortunately, well, I don't know about Mega, but I'm not going to be nice about it. Oh, so we're not explaining? These are these are exclusive secrets on a need to know basis, and none of you need to know. <laughs> you gotta get the Nintendo Power Guide. Just kidding. Didn't isn't Nintendo Power actually discontinued? Didn't they end it a couple years ago? Uh, I I don't know about that actually. I think so. Did they really discontinue Nintendo Power? Yeah, one strange room af uh, after another. An, an underground city? Nah, I don't think that's that was much of a city at all. I think that was more like a death trap or, 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 of some sort. Vivian, what is so hard to believe about this being an underground city when the sewers of Rogueport are a literal sunken town? Yeah. So, if the... Actual Palace of Shadow wasn't creepy enough. Then you get this place, which is significantly more open and may maybe not as dark, but like 
it, it's open, but it also feels empty. And quiet, too, which also makes it a little more ominous. Yeah. That's right. Okay, so we open that switch up. That opens up that dock so that we can enter that place up there. But we're actually not going to do that right away. And there's a spe specific reason for that um, later. Um, this here is a new enemy. And by new, we mean a variation uh, of an old. Yeah, this is a Chain Chomp. Um, and Chain Chomps have 7 HP, 6 attack, ta 6 attack power, and 5 defense point. That's a lot. Yikes. Um, yeah. Uh, so because they're really powerful, um, do not hold back on these guys. They're not nice at all. Yeah. Again, another uh, instance of them using what's normally a regular enemy as one of the strongest field enemies. At least for this late in the game. Yeah, and like they appear more often in this game than, which, than um, in the first game. In the first game, you only see these guys once. Which, when I say strongest field enemies, I'm not including the Pit of 100 Trials because that's entirely optional and yeah. you choose to go in. But as far as I remember, there are no chain chomps, or at least uh, none of those, or none stronger than the regular chain chomps in the Pit of Hunter Trials itself. Yeah, those are yeah, those are the strongest variations of chomps. You yes. See. Um, oh boy. Okay, I'm gonna heal because I need to. Oh, who else needs healing? Uh. All right, I'll heal up Vivian as well. Yeah, this chapter is surprisingly a little kinder than Chapter 5 when it comes to healing points. Because this is pretty much the mid-area of it, I would say. Yeah. I mean, I, I wouldn't say we're exactly halfway through, but in terms of, like, the map layout, this is about halfway through. About. Okay, there's another switch, as you may notice on the other side, so let's go ahead and hit that switch. Yeah, I was going to say you can't go and this in... Opened... I was going to tell go you, on. you can't go into this building anyway because you needed to hit the other switch, but I'm sure you have other plans here. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm not, yeah, like I said, I'm not entering that place right away, and that's for a reason later, so uh, let's go inside this place instead. Okay, so let's see what we got here. So for now, that tower is entirely, or well not, for now it's optional. You don't have to go in right away. Yeah. They're actually letting you do um, things a little fact, out of order here. In fact, there is a uh, trick, actually, oh, okay, I'll talk about that like right after this fight, but uh, this enemy is a new enemy, it's a dark wizard. Um, there are stronger variations of these enemies in the Pit of 100 Trials, but this is the only variation of the enemy you'll see. Um, Dark Wizards are 10 HP, 5 attack power, 2 defense point with Tickle, uh, Lightning Beam, Power Up, Recover, Clone, and Laser Beam. You forgot Avada Kedavra. Then again, he doesn't look like Voldemort to me, so what do I know? <laughs> yep. So yeah, you saw you see, in the Pit of 100 Trials, you saw Elite Wizards and Wizards. But you're not going to be seeing those in this in this chapter at all. You're a wizard, Harry. Um, so yeah, those enemies are actually really powerful, so you don't want to hold back on, on those guys at all. Um, especially when they do their clone move, and it, then it gets really hard to kill them. It's a loop! Oh, whoa, that, I did not expect that guy. Actually, you know what? Ah! <laughs> I'm sorry, that's for Mr. Gray. You know what this area kind of reminds me of? This actually reminds me of the bottom of the well from Chapter 3 of the first game. Like, it's a long hallway with, like, some en some enemies inside of it, leading to something, and I'll leave it at that. You know what I'm talking about, right? In chapter 3, the first game. There's only one well at the, bottom, or at the end of chapter 3 in the first game. Oh, 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 that, okay. okay. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't remember that well. Yeah, but you, you see what I mean, right? I haven't played the first game since <gasps> I this game, because I've been so used to this game's mechanics that it just feels weird to play the first game. Yeah, some of, some of this game, I'm not going to lie, is on repeat from the first one, but... It, I, I think it still does do enough new that it, like, it has its own identity, and I really appreciate that about it. 
But yeah, I, I can see if that's a, a yeah, little bit I mean, of a turnoff to some people. I know I know some people, like, I. then again, I'm one to not really complain if a movie series, if a sequel of some sort borrows too many elements from the ones before it, because I think that just m makes... That, like, that just lets you know that they realize what uh, what made the first ones good. But I do want to see new stuff as well. Okay, there is it. Okay, I'm gonna start clearing myself here. Uh, the save block at the end of a long hallway. I wonder what it could be. <laughs> um, is, it, is it ice cream? Could be. Yeah, I mean, there's gotta be some good stuff in a pretty place like this, right? I mean, yeah, it's, good. it's like in the prime location for it. I mean, look at all the, the wizards and chomps and, and scrupulas that eat ice cream in here. Yeah. I was hoping that it was going to lead to something I mean, funnier, but I mean, I those, came those, out, those, so... Those like, never get, like, what, fresh air or anything like that, because they're underground the entire time. Well, I mean, there's water down here, so that must at least, like, keep things from getting stuffy, I guess. Probably. Like I said, I always just assumed that we're still technically in the city, so... Or, we're, this is still technically part of the sewers. Yeah, I think so. Who are you?! Oh my god! Speaking of on repeat... No one's disturbed me here in aeons. Who dares defile this sacred place? That's Hooktail! What makes you think that's Hooktail? Maybe the fact that it's a giant dragon that looks like Hooktail. Yeah, but she- Goombell didn't call Bonetail Hooktail, did she? That's true. What? You destroyed my precious younger sister? The big I reveal! She... Hooktail was a girl! <laughs> I wonder why she hadn't written, written recently. Quake in fear, mortals, for I am Gloomtail. I will avenge my sister by taking your lives and then gnawing on your bones. We got ourselves a boss fight here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh! Gwahaha! <laughs> my first fresh meat in ages! Allow me to take my time and toy with you a while. So All the, right. the trio this of dragons. Oh wait, go ahead and do the go this do the This is tattle. Bloom Tail, the um, the third out of the three uh, out of the uh, three dragon uh, bosses in, in this game. Um, Bloom Tail is not no need to fear, not as hard as Bone Tail. Yes, nothing um, is going to be as hard as Bone Tail after the Pit of Hundred Trials. <laughs> Probably. Okay, so Bloom Tail has 80 HP with an attack power of eight. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't mess two around. Defense point. Uh, it has Poison Breath, Stomp, Chomp, Earthquake, which does 10 damage, Charge, which uh, char which, which will charge up 8 attack power, and it sets up for a move called Mega Breath, which does 16 damage! Oh my goodness! I'm scared of this guy! Ma Max, you just took 16 points of damage. I used the move. You, you use Vivian to hide to hide a bow? Okay, yeah. That, that's a good tip right there. Ah. Okay. Well, at least I at least I avoided getting poison, but uh, that sucked. Okay. So, uh, if I can chime in for a minute, part of the yeah, reason not only did I want to commentate on this part of the game in particular, not only uh, just for the fact that I, I feel like I'm tooting my own horn here, but like it, the <laughs> Let's Play was sort of dedicated to me. The this area felt you know, like the best place to sort of come in and talk about this game retrospectively. But I also have a story about Gloomtail. I'm probably going to tell this story in my own Let's Play. But I swear on Hooktail's grave, the first time I fought this guy, maybe it was the second, I don't remember. But I swear I used the Crystal Star move Showstopper on it. And it worked. It is, really? It is a very rare chance. In fact, I believe it is a... 1% chance that it can work on this. Showstopper doesn't work on bosses normally, but Gloomtail is one of the rare exceptions, and I just think that it's so weird and so lucky of me that I managed to beat Gloomtail with Showstopper in only like the first or second attempt. I'm not kidding. Wow. It it works. But of course, I... But, and like you said, it's, it's a very low... Oh, that sucks. And like, like you said, it's a very low chance of it working, right? I, I have no way of proving I'm right, and I don't think I've ever encountered a video where somebody has tried it, but I can I swear it does work. I wasn't able to record it at the time because I was only like 11 years old, but I, I can, I'm telling you it works. 
Okay, I'm so being, being said, all baby try here, because I, I really don't want to use my life shroom that I have. You are a tough meat, my little morse my little tasty morsels. But how will you fi uh, fare against this? You know what would have been kind of cool about- Oh my god! Okay, so that's the earthquake move. Okay, okay. Okay, that's it. Uh, I need to... Uh, shoot. Oh, right. I still have not shown off, uh, Supernova at all. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, I, I gotta do that at some point. You know something kind of cool that would have would have made this boss a little more cool? But if I'll be redundant. I mean, I guess there aren't really any places to hide hints about this, but it'd be kind of cool if one of the Attack FX badges did something to him, like the Cricket badge worked on Hooktail. Oh yeah, but you see, Gloomtail did not have did not have a bad meal, unlike uh, unlike uh, Hooktail. So Hooktail is as hard or as easy as you want her to be, but Gloomtail and Bonetail don't mess around. You are not the easy prey that you appear to be. I would never be able to show my face again if I was bested by you, whelps. So I will show you the true extent of my power. Oh no! Oh no! Okay, okay, so like Umbella mentioned in her tattle, in her, in her tattle log, uh, please use Vivian whenever something like this is gonna happen. Uh, yeah, just well, let on. it waste its charge. Don't be a hero here. Oh! Yay! <laughs> um, Merle, yeah, coming this to the gonna rescue. help. Stupid I'm that gonna do like what seven damage? Too bad that wasn't a power bounce. So otherwise, it, you oh, might hey, have been okay. able to take it out. All right. Uh, wait. Shoot. Wrong. Yeah. Thing. Bail. Oh, bail. Bail. No! No! I failed! Oh no! I failed! <laughs> this. Can is... I block it? I can block it. Oh whoa. Well, guard. Yeah, I understand your true power. You're, yeah. Oh, man. Okay. Just um, so you know, it said Mega but... Power. We are not affiliated, Boontail. <laughs> also, it, it's worried about not being able to show its face again. Yay! Ooh. That's pretty lucky on your part. It's worried about not showing its face again. <laughs> Who does it have to impress down here? Uh... Uh, I think, um, wait, no, that's a spoiler, I can't talk about that. Fair point. How can this be? Ow! Have you actually read any of the stories from the guy on the roof? Uh, right, well, no. I guess a lot of those are kind of a spoilers, but there's uh, an interesting story about the trio of dragons, but I won't talk about it because, yeah, it is kind of a spoiler, like Max was saying. Uh-huh. Can I expire? You just did. Oh, my oh. curse ran out. Okay. Well, at least it well, was helpful in some way. <laughs> yeah, that that was fun while it lasted. <laughs> to be honest, I don't really need it for the final boss. I didn't need it at all during my practice file, so. Uh, I think I think I think I'll be Wait. I think I'll be safe. Hopefully. Switch to Star Key. I wonder what this is for. Wait. Switch to also. Wario. Okay, you do nope. know about this. This is a second reason why I wanted to commentate in this part. I wasn't sure if you knew about this, but I haven't actually done this myself. But I have read Wait, about what? it. What? There we go. Okay, so I, I was worried you would skip past this and not know about it. Oh. But in this room, yeah, this, I. This is pretty much is the equivalent to that? the keep, keep going across the room. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is pretty much the equivalent to the the place where you found the up arrow in Hooktail's castle. Yeah, very, very, yeah, very similar. But of course, it wasn't in Hooktail's chamber. It was in the. It was past the dungeon. And also, you mentioned um, uh, a little bit that this that that this room is right is uh, right below uh, the final boss room, right? No, no. I, okay, I was talking with Max. By the way, switch to Luigi. I mean Wario. Okay. Oh, uh, <laughs> Wario. All right. I, I tried to stop you before you open right. up the chest here, but I don't think you heard me. Uh, oh, you did. Oh, 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 you did tell me. Okay, yeah. I didn't, yeah I By didn't the way, that. get the Ultra Shroom and Jam and Jelly while you can, because this room will not be accessible to you forever.